He's been coming here for a long time for CBS Two Days, and he's always done well. And Punko, of course, we saw him last year. Did so well at Evolution 2011, and has done very well at tournaments since then. If Punko can make it into top eight, he will be one of two players, I think, to repeat. In, in the Street top Fighter. eight. In Street Fighter 4? Yeah. Wow, amazing. I think it's going to be him and Daigo only. Amazing. And if he wins, then we have eight different characters in the top eight. Yeah, I I'm wondering if, uh, if that's true. People, please correct me if I am wrong. But Flash Metroid, uh, Fudo. I don't know. Mateen. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll figure it out. But okay. yeah, uh, if King Debu were to lose here, then it's to eight to uh, different characters in the top eight. This is one of those dangerous matchups for both characters, in my opinion, because they can both die very quickly from each other's mix-ups. Oh, nice. I, I like Shin Kendebu's style. He's got kind of a no-respect style, and I think that that really is good. Oh, oh that's, that's punishable. punishable. Yeah. Uh, terrible move. Um, uh, they, they both have this style that allows them, or even is, is uh, all about them, going nuts on each other. Oh, Kendebu with a jumping forward... They hit Punko out of the air. Dragon Punch, obviously. Uh, there we go. Burn it. Yeah, he's going to do it. Just going to take this round. Not quite yet. But this oh. fake, yeah. This, yeah. Not that she can do it. Yeah, and she doesn't have meter. The only thing she could have did was EX Spin Knuckle. She did not have that right. available to her. Right. Starting off well here is King Debu, who follows it up nicely done. Like That's what I was talking about. Very damaging and also follows up well. Punko is trying to get away. He wants to start things up, but he hasn't really found a chance to yet. Oh, here we go. Big damage. No. no. Oh, that's a heartbreaker for Kindebu, and now he's going to be caught in the corner. Oh, oh nice. I like that wake up upper because he has a meter for it. Getting 200 damage off of that. All right, Punko's really got to do gamble Seth here. It's coming down to this sequence or nothing. I, I, I personally believe he can do it. Suck him in again. Boom into Ultra. No, it's... Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? Punko! All the way back! That is enough! And Punko acting like it's nothing right now. Punko fresh from the roulette tables. <laughs> but he won it all. Gamble set. Gamble paid off. Oh, nice. I like it. Yeah. That's standing close to some County. What a, such a fast move. Mungo was threatening with the big... Uh, oh, focus. here we go. Okay, here comes King David One now. hit will be dizzy. Oh, uh, nice. yeah. yeah. Ow. Nice. Wow, that's BB. Yeah, hit with the second hit of the uppercut. The second phase, right. which actually does a lot more damage. 150 as opposed to 100 damage. Right. Ooh, nice uppercut there from Punko. Great autocorrect upper Kintebu. Like I said, that's the bait. That meaty drill. Nice reactions. Oh, meaty drill right into the face of Punko. Oh, he had a chance for Dizzy there, potentially. Okay, still have a chance. Oh, oh I love it. So delayed. Just waited, just waited, and now Kintebu has tied it up 1-1. One, one. Is Punko going to be able to make it back in the top eight like last year? Or is Kintebu going to spoil his party? Wow, drill at the start of the round. Here comes Punko, though. Will he follow it up? Yes, teleport right in her face. Yep. You know what? Sometimes that's going to happen to him. And he, that he can't get dissuaded by that. And he yep. won't be either. He is not that kind of guy. Tammy's uppercut does 100 damage. It's one of the weaker uppercuts. So if you're going to get hit by something like that, it's okay. Punko... There it is. Oh, now he's going to have to either go for a reset or... Uh, I guess probably that's not really his style. Oh, no! Huge jump coming at Oh, Yeah, you got to be careful with those cross-ups that don't do a lot of damage. There it was! But that's not fast enough. That's not good enough. I, I, I don't like him going to that. I, I don't know why he would do that. I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised that he hasn't been in that situation before. Right. You would think he would know that that wasn't going to punish properly. Right. And because of that... He is now uh, given Punko match point, and he is on the ropes. If he loses this, he's out of here. Wow, okay. do it. Oh, nice. Okay, he's just going to focus dash through and get out of there. But here we go. Great focus dash away. 
Fight that cross up. Oh, oh no! no! Why, Gosh. why, why? I, I don't know. Oh, oh my God. first jump, perfect timing. Now first. Wow, jump here right there. Oh, wow. That oh, he's it! Wolko has made it in the top eight. He's a repeat last year and this year again. And because he won, we have eight different characters in, in the top, top eight, eight of Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition version 2012. It doesn't get any more balanced than that, folks. We have Infiltration, Akuma user, Daigo, Ryu user, Human Bomb, Sakura. who's the Sakura user, 